Whenever I play any type of game, the thing that I enjoy the most is grinding. This is also the case for Red Dead Online. And sometimes it doesn't even need to be the case of pushing for an in-game item. Sometimes it's grinding just for the sake of grinding. That's why there's loads of different tutorials on this channel covering how to grind money or how to grind gold. But whenever I do share how to grind gold, I always get comments telling me that it's better for you to go through showdown series. So in this video, we're putting it to the test. Before I do get into the video, this video is brought to you by Skillshare. It's no secret that I've created a lot of gaming channels and because I've created so many, I know how to get them partnered in about one to two months without needing to promote them on other social media accounts. And I always get asked, how do I do it? That's why I've created an in-depth course on Skillshare covering everything. It goes through the basics of creating a new YouTube channel, but it quickly scales up into doing keyword research, planning videos, recording, editing, creating thumbnails, and eventually getting monetized, where you can actually start running your YouTube channel like a business by outsourcing the work. If you're interested in having your own gaming channel, there is a link in the description down below, which will give you one free month of Skillshare for the first 100 people who sign up. So make sure that you're quick and do go and watch that course so you know exactly the process of what I go through for every single video and for every single new YouTube channel that I create. Link to that can be found in the description down below. Low. And getting back into the video, I've recorded loads of gold grinding guides here on this channel and all of them are aimed at different players who are at different stages of the game. This guide is showing you the best way to grind gold right at the beginning, mid game and right to the end once you've unlocked every single role. But whenever I have posted one of these tutorials in the past over the last three years of Red Dead Online, there's always been comments telling me how showdown series should fit within it. How it's better for you to go through your daily challenges, get the gold from that and as soon as you're done for you to spend the rest of your time going through showdown series because each game only lasts about 5-10 to 10 minutes and you're rewarded with money gold and xp for every single one of those games no matter where you're placed so i did decide to put it to a test i thought that this was a perfect time to do this because rockstar have given out a double reward on the showdown series so this should be the best time for us to actually go through it there was actually triple money and double gold on elimination series with there also being double money and double gold on the featured series and we went through both of these even though there's a triple power on eliminations it is only for cash and not for gold and as this is a gold test well it makes no difference to which one we play so I decided to go through both of them and with showdown series normally at the end of every single match that you play you'll get anywhere between eight gold nuggets all the way up to 24. this is a normal payout without it being double so with double, we're expecting anywhere between 16 gold nuggets going all the way up to 48, which does mean on paper, this would be a very, very good idea for you to go through. It makes sense for you to do your daily challenges and immediately go into some of the showdown series, which only last five to 10 minutes each because of the amount of gold that you're able to get. There's not actually many other things that you can do within the game as in activities, which will give you a similar payout unless they're double gold or triple gold or whatever bonus rockstar are planning to give but i do want to highlight that this is on paper when actually going through this unfortunately it's not as reliable unfortunately it's just not a way in which you should be trying to grind gold even if there's a double payout and the first reason is because there's a limited amount of players no one actually goes through showdown series so when it comes to matchmaking, even when it's a featured series with a double payout, still there's not that many people going through it. With the featured series that was currently active at the time of this recording and should be active up until the 5th of January 2022, every time I went into the featured series, which does have a double payout, it always says, alert, matchmaking failed to find a session within the time limit. Please try again. And every time you went through this, it would keep on popping up with the exact same message because it just can't find people playing this game mode. The elimination series is slightly better. You do get into games, but every time that you do get into a game, it's likely that you're going to be the only player within that lobby or you've joined someone else making there being only two players within that lobby. Still not enough for you to actually get the game started. If you're really dedicated for you to actually go through showdown series, you need to sit there and wait. 
and the time limit in which you have to wait varies. Sometimes you can get very lucky and you can join a game which is just about to start and there could be five or six players. But most of the time that doesn't happen. Most of the time you have to sit there and wait for five and ten minutes for there to be other players that join your session. And sometimes you do only need to wait for just one player. But this could be a long wait until that one player does finally join your game. But this is just where the problems begin. If you join up in a session where there is just two or three players, it also means that you've got some very, very boring and short games. Each of them lasting just a couple minutes. There was actually one game in which I went through where it was elimination series. We were set up within Strawberry and there were three players. When I started this game mode, of course, I went to the highest point to look around, see where people were. I saw one player on the complete other side with the other player most likely just hiding away in one of the buildings. The player on the other side also noticed me, so we started to run towards each other and it was an elimination series where we had just thrower knives. With the thrower knives, I missed a couple, he missed a couple and eventually we both threw at the exact same time to both hit each other at the exact same time, killing both of us at the exact same time and it led that other player that was just hidden away actually winning the game. That game lasted about two minutes. And because it only lasted two minutes and didn't reach the time limit for the maximum payout of you getting any type of gold nuggets, it meant that we didn't get any gold anyway. So it didn't even matter that there was double gold. You can have double or nothing and it's still nothing. And with games like that, of course, people get bored. So as soon as that game ends, they see that they get just a couple dollars in cash. They get just a couple hundred in XP. They get nothing within gold. We get back into the lobby. It leads to people leaving. They leave and then you go back through this whole cycle again where you need to wait because there's a limited amount of players. Matchmaking sucks and you have to sit there and wait for the loading times. It's a horrible cycle that you have to go through over and over again. And all of this is when Rockstar are delivering bonuses over Christmas. This should be a more popular time for these types of events and still people don't want to be playing it. There are some other showdown series which are more popular. Hardcore series is one of them and it's likely that you will find a game and it will be more interesting. But it still remains that it's not a better way to grind gold. It's still got the exact same payouts being 8 gold nuggets all the way to 24 gold nuggets with that being doubled when Rockstar actually delivers some bonuses for showdown series. But with that in between each game you still have like a 2 maybe 3 minute waiting time whilst you wait for other players to leave the session and wait for new players to join back in so that you have a sufficient number of players in total to actually get on with the game. I even tried seeing whether or not showdown series could be worth it if you was afk i went into a game i wrapped a wire around my controller so that my character was always walking forwards and i did all of this in hope that rockstar will still see me as being active within the game as i'm constantly moving but no we still got kicked for idling so you can't even go afk within these game modes not that i would recommend it either so with showdown series if you were grinding gold it's just not worth it you are so much better to be going into free roam, completing your daily challenges, and then after that, you go into call to arm survival mode where you'll try to go through as many rounds as possible. You can even go into the link in the description down below to our Discord, which will take you to the Red Dead Online Discord server, and you can reach out to other players who will be willing to help you. You can invite them into your call to arm survival mode in hopes that you can all get to round 10 and actually finish it, where you get the maximum payout of one gold bar. The quickest that I've managed to go through this with a group of players is 40 minutes. But unfortunately, once you finish, you can't just go and back into it again. There is a cooldown. But this is where you'll spend time just going through bounty hunter missions. And you'll get some extra gold on top of what you has already managed to grind through the call to arm survival mode. And once the survival mode is active again, you'll just go back through it again, where in hopes that you'll get another full gold bar in a fairly short amount of time. With showdown series you can do the daily challenges right before which will give you the majority of the gold but from showdown series itself you'll be very very lucky just to get one gold bar in one hour it's probably going to take you an hour and a half maybe two hours especially if you've been in a situation that i've been in where we've had that double payout but unfortunately no one else is playing matchmaking is horrible the only way showdown series is good for anything is if you do enjoy it or if there's an extra payout on the likes of hardcore series because hardcore series seems to be the most popular hardcore series seems to be quite a few different games but for it to still be better than call to arms or even the bounty hunter missions 
who need a triple payout. And this just makes up for the time in which you have to sit there and wait for players to join your session, which can take about two to three minutes. Anyway, guys, this is exactly why Showdown series is not worth grinding for either money, gold, or even XP. But the main focus today has been on gold because that's what people use it for in comments all the time in previous videos. Now, when people do say that within the future, I can always link back to this one, breaking down everything and showing exactly why it's not good. And it's not good even on a double payout. If you do have any questions about anything, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you are interested in becoming a YouTuber yourself with your own gaming channel, then there is a link in the description which will take you to the Skillshare course, which runs you through everything that I do to run multiple gaming channels and the process that I go through for every single video. For the first 100 people who sign up using that link in the description or the one that's pinned in the comment section, you'll be able to get one month free of Skillshare where you can watch that course as well as other courses that are on the site so make sure that you are quick anyway guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you did enjoy it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe but for now i'm going to see ya